Chinese are paying $35,000 a head, $50,000 a head to come to the southern border. They're paying the drug cartels this money. The number of Chinese nationals, and they are military aged men, you're right, up 1100% year over year. Are they being directed by the Communist Party to come here? I believe so, I believe so. And I believe we're gonna have a terrorist attack 100%, 100%. You know, during my term, I had no terrorist attacks. You know that, right? So they'll be saboteurs? I had, I had, what are they? I had all sorts of bans on people from certain countries. I had bans all over the place. We had no attack. That is, of course, not even close to a lie. It's not in the era of the truth. It's not in the neighborhood of the truth. It's never met the truth. Of course, there are terror attacks under Donald Trump when he was president. So, so many of them. There were, we were chock full of them, and we will go through the details. But let's also talk about what led to him making that repeated lie about no terror attacks while he was president. It was the idea that Chinese migrants are entering the United States through the southern border and they're being directed there by the Communist Party. Now, are there Chinese migrants entering the US through the southern border? Yes, apparently it's a significant portion. But you will notice they always, whenever a migrant enters the US, they were directed there. Whether you're from China or from Guatemala, no one has control over their own life. No one makes a decision to go either to flee the situation they have domestically or to go in search of a situation in the US. They're sent, okay? The Mexican government sends people, the Guatemalan government sends people, China sends people because everything has to have sort of like someone pulling the strings behind the scenes. That is the conspiracist worldview. And there is no topic that escapes it for the right. What do you think, Francesca? I mean, meanwhile, Trump accepted $5.5 million from China during his presidency. While he was in office, he got money from China. And we're just, you you could pay that money and get into Mar-a-Lago if you're like, hey, I'm rich and I'm Chinese. Hey, what's up? Like, you know, if only I had money, um, I could do that. But like, I love this, the, the China stuff is so ridiculous when it comes from Trump because again, he accepted this money. He loves when it's like rich Chinese millionaires or billionaires who wanna come and like, you know, curry favor with him. He accepts it all over the place. But mm -hmm. now, of course, this like incredibly racist ass question gets asked by Maria Bartiromo and suddenly now we're talking, he, now and it's truly scary because he's, when I hear him say we had no terrorist attacks, which again is a lie. But you feel like we're being set up for, again, oh God. another moment, right? Like that if something happened in the United States on American soil specifically, um, what would Trump do, right? What would his reaction be? Um, and, and as we see, you know, this, you know, assault on Gaza spin out of control when it comes to the United States and Israel and it getting to be a, a wider regional war. It's something that it should be on all of our minds. Like, how will this affect? Could it affect our domestic policy? Yeah. How could it affect, you know, any kind of Amer attacks on Americans? Already three service members were killed. What happens when it grows to be more, right? Or it happens here. Like, yeah. And these are the fools in power, not just Biden, but Trump. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone never forget. I mean, many of you are probably too young to have experienced it firsthand, but. The entire course of American as well as regional history was changed by the fact that 9-11 happened and right-wingers used it for the stuff that they had wanted to do. And they did that in foreign policy and domestic policy, policy having to do with your privacy, consolidation of power of the executive branch. Like they used that and they it's not like they're the it's only people pretext. that would ever do that. Exactly, 100%. and Democrats went alongside, I mean, yeah. went right along with them except for Barbara Lee, Barbara Lee for Congress, That's I mean, true. Senate, sorry. Uh, I will remind you all. Despite what Trump said, Trump's own DOJ alleged that a mass murder in New York back in 2017, which killed eight people and injured others, was a terrorist attack in support of ISIS. DOJ also alleged that a 2019 attack by an extremist member of Saudi Arabia's military, which killed three US service members, and Fox obviously freaked out about that just as much as they're freaking out about what happened in Jordan, was motivated by jihadist ideology carried out by a longtime associate of Al Qaeda. The DOJ said it was a domestic terrorist attack when one of Trump's supporters mailed improvised explosive devices to prominent Democratic officials. Not enough people talk about that these days. In 2019, a white supremacist pleaded guilty to multiple charges in New York, including first degree murder and furtherance of an act of terrorism for killing a black man in March 2017, specifically to try to start a race war. 
Uh, and Trump's uh, Justice Department described a 2019 shooting massacre at a Walmart in Texas as an act of domestic terrorism. 23 people were killed. All of those took place while Donald Trump was president. And he didn't care about them when it happened. He doesn't even remember that they happened at this point. So that's the truth. Sorry, Trump. Sorry, Maria Bartiromo. We shouldn't have cut off the video, by the way. That was unfair of us because obviously she reminded him of all of these attacks when he made that claim. Of course. But, yeah. but, but John, those aren't terrorists. Those are fans. Those white supremacists, when they do violence, nah, they're just doing, they're just fans. They're fanboys. Um, um, no, it's wild. It's true. I mean, that's the, what we truly forget is like the amount of, and again, Democrats are off the scent on this, you know? They've been thrown off the scent. I mean, Christopher Ray, we're talking about firing Christopher Ray. He actually alerted the Americans to the fact that the biggest threat when it comes to so-called terrorism is homegrown domestic terrorism, i.e., white nationalists yeah. um, and anti-government extremists um, who are big fans of Donald Trump. But where is that? Okay, now we're now we're back on the uh, you know, Islamophobia trail once again. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.